be a scrap hallucination of copper. Or it could not be. And it's really uh, 50 bucks sitting at the curbside. Welcome to the Scrap and Pallet Man channel. Daisy in the trash. Hmm. Yeah. What's that? Let's open those full. Yeah, I think this can get recycled. Probably don't even need the tailgate up, do I? Definitely not doing glass. Yeah, I can do that. What else we got going on here? Not sure what that is. That's probably a cooler of some sort. I'll take the hardware. goes yeah that used to be a stair climber or something is this full of metal mm -hmm. it's plastic but not this port wait a minute something caught my eye I think it's aluminum or copper. I'm gonna say aluminum. What is that? Is that copper? Yeah, it is copper. Cool. Let's go ahead and get that transformer off there. I think it's the owner pulling up behind me. Nope, Amazon Prime truck. Yeah, that's significant. That feels like it weighs five pounds. That's the plastic cut off of a dishwasher. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, they had uh, the scrap out here last time. Right on. Might be good, might be not so good, but it was large, so. Where's that stuff? I like, yeah, it's tree stuff on this. Hmm, I'm just gonna cl clip the cord on that. That's just a lot of plastic. I know there's metal in there. Yes. I'm hearing water. Wait a minute. It's the hose that's going over here to this drain. <laughs> yeah, that's that illegal stuff when you're using public drains for your house. Hey, there is a cord there. Most of it. 
Hey, what's up? Got some stuff on back for you. Right on, my friend. Need some help? Yeah. Okay. Good stuff, man. Thank you. All right, take it easy. I'll see you around. The sure sign of spring is when the snow blowers are on the curb. What's that? What's going on here? Is that someone praying? I think so. Yeah, this is a some fluffy scrap so far. Statue is kind of cool. I know someone's gonna know what that is. Because for a second I thought it was Mary, then I looked again, I'm like, is that Buddha? I, I don't know. I really don't. Oh, blood brain barrier. Perfect. Most substances Get in my circulating truck. around the body do not have. Yeah, it's it's almost perfect, isn't it? You too. Going up. I've already got issues here. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, maybe not. Right there. We're good there. You need to go in here somehow without me falling over. Ooh, that wasn't fun. That went right up my pant leg. Hmm. Painting myself in a corner here. <clears throat> I should just let Snap Tool do this. I'm not very good at it. All right, well, I can't really give up now. I'm stuck back here. Stay right there. Okay. 
good there. Ooh, he almost fell out, huh? huh. Wow, that hurt my shoulder. Pulling that and it was stuck on the other side. That's the stuff that causes adrenaline. And yeah, I almost wanna put a couple quarters in the, in the jar because I might say the wrong thing. Hello, hello. Stallone. Perfect. Yeah, I decided to put the daisy in the back of the truck. Yeah, I don't really need it in the front. You know, there's a there's an old Jewish proverb that says, uh, "What? How does it go?" The wise, no, no, the foolish see trouble and keep going and suffer for it. But the prudent, or the wise, see danger and take refuge. They'll, they'll duck out of the way. And so, yeah, putting that daisy over there is uh, kind of me not allowing trouble in my day makes any sense. Oh. You know what, I think I'm gonna not do a clove hitch right there. Cause sometimes it's easier when I untie from one end that I don't have to go over and untie the other end. I can just kind of pull it through. But here I will do a clove hitch. You know, I still didn't get this guy into the, uh, into the loop. There we go. Like that. We got a picker. That is awesome. Keep on picking. Be a scrap hallucination of copper. Or it could not be. And it's really uh, 50 bucks sitting at the curbside. You're awesome. Thank you. Wow. Are you kidding me? It's all, it's all coming up here. I just learned a new word. Interoception. Interoception. I can't I don't really know how it's pronounced. But it's like being aware of your body. Being aware of your internal how things are working. Yeah. Interoception? Interoception? Yeah, something like that. I've not gotten this much copper in a long, 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 long time. <laughs> oh yeah, that's 20 pounds worth. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, neighbors. There's any more over here? There's no way this is full of copper. Yeah, they knew. They knew. My camera's giving me a hard time. Sometimes uh, the camera will just stop working. I have to take the battery out 
and there's like nothing else I can do except for take the battery out. Um, I'm hoping not a big vehicle tries to get through because there's not a lot of space here. But there's a lot of scrap. <laughs> Wait. That's not metal. That is. No, it's not. That's plastic. Should I check it? Make sure there's not a turkey carcass. Dude. Yeah, you're heavy. my hand <laughs> so yeah hmm. this might work all right see bicycle maybe there's a whole bunch of copper road's brand new probably about every five years we have to completely redo the streets because the ice um complete it totally thrashes the uh the pavement the asphalt it looks like it's not metal but it is quick that's not gonna go anywhere unless I find a washing machine then that's going over the top yeah this has seen its last fire huh? Because the concrete and the tiles, I'm not gonna take this one. I mean, someone could take it to the scrapyard, they probably wouldn't be too upset about it. But this caught my eye as I was getting out of the truck. not what I meant to grab. <laughs> it 
also I'm not going to just leave it here either. I changed my mind. Here we go like with. will tear up a tire. <laughs> I think I've enough room for it. Yeah, this is uh this has been the best evening scrapping maybe ever. Especially when you consider the uh, that copper find. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Yeah, sun just went down, so I got a little bit of time, a little bit of a few more neighborhoods to go. And it's tomorrow's Friday's garbage day, so it's actually three different areas. Oh, my stuff right here in the middle of the road. <laughs> So it's actually more scrap area than I can do in a particular uh, morning. All right. Yeah, we're gonna do some up and over here. Don't fall. Didn't quite go as planned. <laughs> yeah, bicycle. You're going up and over. Now that I think about it, maybe I shouldn't have grabbed that concrete and tile. A fire pit thing. Tie this one so it's around the char charbroil and this guy. And over. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. Oh, hit the tree. Right. Let's try that again. Uh oh. It's stuck. not it's unstuck hmm. let's go right there terminate it hmm. 
We good? Probably. You're not going to believe this. Maybe you will. Hmm. Ta-da! That other grill. Hmm. I'm not quite sure. It's not six in the morning. I don't feel quite as bad about making a bunch of racket. I'm, I'm gonna have to make some noise here. Hmm. Yeah, I probably wanna have the this pa part facing down. All right, left with my legs. thought. It's a lot less loud. Good, good. Hmm. Yeah, that looks metal enough. Shh. Quiet down. Yeah, this is about the point when the camera starts not working quite right. You know what? This is a table that someone could use. I'm not necessarily gonna scrap that. <sighs> but one thing we will do is we're gonna pick up this operation in the morning. You're not gonna believe this. I got so much copper, probably 50 bucks worth of copper. I know, isn't it great news? Um, what else? Oh yeah, a whole truckload of stuff. Some, some like meat cooking devices called the barbecues. Does that make you thirsty? Good morning, it's the next day. Sun's almost coming up. But I saw this. Thought I would check it out. <laughs> Looks like a move out, but I saw a light bulb. video game no it's a uh... I don't know what it is oh <laughs> I know what it is it's a way of, of writing whoa it freaked me out I hear water okay um not doing the cord Cool pillow. All right, let's get out of here. Two houses down. Is that a server? Yeah, looks like a server. <laughs> wow, that one actually has guts in it still. Guts. I like that word. Like you got a lot of guts for going out scrapping early in the morning. All right, that's e-waste. 
I have an e-waste guy here in town. Oh, look at that copper. I'm gonna get the e-waste. That's metal. E-waste. Try not to be quite as loud as I was last night. What's up with all these sounds? All these g houses are gurgling. Laptop? No. All right, I'm leaving that. Uh, I might as well take that. box of laptops all right and hard drives and such lift with your legs one two three three laptops I don't know half a dozen hard drives those have great neodymium magnets yeah some people think that microwaves have great magnets those are nothing compared to them neodymium type magnets. All right, we're good. All right, what's in here? E-waste. No, that's not e-waste, that's metal, bro. That's serious steel right there. I saw it. Oh, might be a plastic or a glass panel. Yep. I think I'm the only one scrapping today. Normally I got a lot of competition. All right, where are you going? Right there, I guess. But I don't want to be loud. I don't think I have a choice though. Hmm. That worked out pretty well. Hmm. Another bicycle. Sun still isn't up yet, so it's about 6.30 in the morning. Hmm. What is this? Oh yes! Get him all dropped. Baby bike right there. <laughs> yeah, this one's coming apart. Scrap Velcro. I had to pull over. So the sun's coming up. The moon. Oh my goodness, just now setting. So I think it was a full moon yesterday or day before. Because if you notice that, if you come out and look at the moon at the same time every day, it's slowly going to the left. Like if, it, if I came out here at 6.30 in the morning tomorrow, that full moon would be a little bit over there. Because it's that's the direction that it's orbiting the Earth. Yeah, And so in in one week, it'll be right there at 6.30 in the morning. And in two weeks, it'll actually be a new moon coming up with the sun. And in three weeks, it'll actually be on the other side. And in four weeks, it'll in 29 days, actually, it'll be back in the same spot. 
it just slowly every day oh, basically 1 29th of a circumference of a circle it'll be yeah my girlfriend's like you're getting too science hey <laughs> i'm not it's just observational I, I i just like the physical world god makes good stuff Ooh. a whole box of springs <laughs> is that a, a tigger song oh here comes the sun my tops are made out of rubber my bottoms are made out of springs okay um yeah my shoulders are already screaming thinking about lowering this in here <laughs> get out the way This is well used. That's good. I should have clipped the cord first, huh? It's gonna be a good day. Hey, there's my scrapper buddy. This truck's pretty much empty. All right, it's 7.29. So that means the scrapyard isn't open yet. But they will be in one minute, supposedly. But I'm gonna drop my non-ferris off first. Cause I got copper. Yep, yep, yep. Uh-oh. By the way? Yeah, I kind of am, huh? All right. Let me go ahead and get more out of the way. I think that's okay. Ooh. I think that's better. All right, copper. Yeah, I know I could cut some of this off and for it to be uh, number one copper. Uh-oh. The scale's not on yet. Hmm. Let's go from this side. Yeah, I could cut that off. Um, there's not much of a difference between a number one copper, which is has no solder on it and number two copper which has some other metals like solder but i'll probably get a decent amount because they'll give me a good price just because it is a lot of straight pipe like this you know what i mean is there any more copper over here that's it okay good this place is wow hey hey I brought some copper I know yeah man I was thinking about cutting it up but I'm like you guys are always good to me you're gonna just leave this no <laughs> dang dude you've done this before huh all right okay Man, you guys are selling everything. I've not seen this place this empty. Hmm. 17 pounds. 
18 pounds, wow. All right. Oh, um, I also have a, a load too, so okay. we'll do steel. Eighteen pounds. All right. So what's three times eighteen? Uh, I'm thinking forty-five plus nine. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's over fifty bucks. Man, there he is. No one here at seven thirty-three in the morning, except for Michael. But Michael lives here. I'm kidding, he doesn't actually live here. Oh, am I gonna make it? Oh, it's so close. Um, what do you think, uh, 73? 7,300? Nope. Wow, I thought it'd be more than this. 7,240. Right. 7,240 pounds. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm gonna. Hmm. Oh, that's gonna freak me out. Thinking maybe here. You know what? I'm gonna. Let me think. Should I go over there? Or right here? I think I'm gonna go over there. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot easier to untie when I don't put the knots everywhere. My uh, hitches. He's loading up that truck. Yeah, so Michael. Really? popped out. Michael popped out and said, dump right here in the middle. I'm like, okay, I can do that. Got 
that is so cool. He was asking, um, where do I dump? I've never uh, done scrap before. And that or he, I've never been here before, something like that. He's like, I don't quite know what to do. <laughs> That's so cool. Not knowing something and learning to do something is that's impressive i'm just saying that's impressive and six four eight zero yeah hmm how much the payout's gonna be Put it in reverse, Paul, not neutral. Uh, that's about right. Ooh, man, it's gonna be a nice weekend. It's supposed to be like room temperature outside. Oh, spring is here. What is up, Eric? Good morning, Mr. Paul. All right. I had 18 pounds of copper as well. Yes, all right. How are you doing, sir? <laughs> Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Finding all that stuff on the curb. Yeah, you had my lotion, didn't you? Yeah. Right. Yeah, I was pleased. How you doing? Are you ready for the weekend? Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, you got to work tomorrow, though, don't you? Uh, I'm off tomorrow. Oh, cool. Mike, so you got a yeah. full weekend. Mike's giving me a weekend off. All right. He's an awesome guy. Yeah. He's all right for, for a long hair guy. <laughs> you're all right, you're Thanks, man. Yeah, there's a guy here yesterday talking about that. We gotta give him a nice shave, a nice haircut. Uh, 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 <laughs> and then Michael shows up. He reminds me of the drummer in the Muppets, just wild man. All right. Thank you, sir. You're all set. Appreciate you, man. Have a good one. I'll see you around. Yep. Thank you, God, for sunshine. Thank you for good moods. Thank you for uh, allowing me just to participate in life. Because when I really think about it, God, life is really complex. I mean, just the science behind it. How myochondria works and how all just how enzymes work and I'm like how'd you invent all that stuff God uh, yeah I'm blown away by that but thank you God for having us having me participate in life in the name of Jesus amen all right let's go over some numbers one hundred forty two dollars and thirty five cents for scrapping that is right. So I had 780 pounds of sheet iron, just a regular old scrap, uh, $215 a net ton, which is almost 11 cents a pound just for the scrap, 83 bucks for that. $58.50 for the uh, copper at $3.25 a pound. Oh, that's good. So just that one stop of copper was $58. Wow. Seriously? All of this was on the curb. Yeah. All of this was picked out of the, what well, was destined for the landfill. So, yeah. So that didn't happen. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate that. I appreciate everything that you do for me. Um, because this isn't just me making videos for for you. You being a part of this, <laughs> you warm this old man's heart. 